So we're given two tables that represent messages uh, via two users um, on you know, like a chat app. So first question is, what are some insights that could be derived from this table even before you start writing a query? Um, I think you could figure out what's um, how many interactions people are actually making with each other, right? You could ha you could have an app, say, if no one uses it, right? So first thing you want to understand is like how many interactions are happening. So how many, what's the network? How many people are connected to this user, right? Or mm -hmm. the number of people they interact with. And then is the volume also, like how many messages are going, right? Whether it's just a good morning messages to 10 people or is it like actual conversations happening? So I guess those are what, are what I would be interested in in understanding is like, okay, what's the what's the network how many user and what's the volume of the interaction gotcha okay yeah that definitely makes sense especially if you're building like a messaging app uh and you're trying to figure out exactly uh the common kind of use cases here and then the second question is like what do you think the distribution of the number of conversations created by each user per day would even look like so pretend that now we're an actual like app on facebook let's say it's messenger right <laughs> And uh -huh. so if you had a guess on the distribution, what would you say it would look like? <laughs> First, I'll have to know how many introverts and extroverts exist on Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to this out. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I think on an average, uh, uh, it's hard to uh, guesstimate says you'll talk to less than, um, le definitely less than 10, t uh, 10 people per day on an average, probably less than, Three, three to six, I guess, should be like how many people you interact with on an average. Again, personality depends, right? So yep. that that's uh, given. Even that is a Facebook example. You could also have no a uh, lot of connections, but you hardly, you know, uh, like I am a Facebook user. You will not see a message more than happy birthday. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that. That could be one thing. Also, you know, some people, I don't know the word, there is a term for it where people just try the app and then stop using it. I'm one of those users. So I try stuff and then just stop using it. So and there's a churn. Right? Churn, yeah. Yeah. So that's something which we should be interested in, like, say, from some, what's, what's the lifespan of an active user? Wow. I yeah. think that that might be interesting. Okay. And so now we'll get into the actual SQL writing part, but let's say we want to get the distribution of the number of conversations uh, created by each user uh, each day mm -hmm. uh, for the year of 2020. So how do we okay. write this query? Okay. In the best, uh, we have only one table so there, there's nothing to join on. So let's say select extra from messages. Okay. So what we're trying to do is for let's say we have we have to understand it from a user point of view right so say i am mm -hmm. user one right and then i want to see how many people i interact with so count distinct user two as number of interactions and now my interaction definition is uh, how many people I touch? Can you think of a better word? Uh, I no, know. I think that makes sense. I think conversations is like the one that we're using. Okay, so let's question. stick to conversation. Yeah. But uh, the number of messages are immaterial. It's only how many mess. Uh, you know how many conversations were initiated. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if we do something like this, this just tells us you know how many. What did I do? Playground dot messages. Yeah, three S's. Oh. Okay, so this is only going to tell you how many how many people have we interacted with. Uh, and let's just see how many interactions there has been. Now this is irrespective of date. So the most one person has interacted to 44 people. Now this is irrespective of date. 
but the question says per day so we are just going to group it by day to get at a daily level so we'll just say by date and this tells you hold on order by three descending so i'm i'm just saying order by three descending mm -hmm. which means take the third column and just order it by three sorry uh order it in the uh descending order so we can say that user one on the state has had three conversations while previously we saw that in general someone had contacted someone 40 plus times right mm -hmm. now makes sense so far yep okay cool so now what we are trying to understand now at this point we have at a user at a day level how many conversations there has been okay now the question is saying give us a distribution which is like basically we need to count this in a frequency fashion so we just need to see how many times three happened how many times two happened how many times you know one happened okay so this should be simple we take this data which is number of conversations as our main thing and then we just give count how many times that happened as and let's call that column frequency let's call this something meaningful so let's call it number of conversations per day you don't have to but i just prefer having something meaningful of as a table alias and then you just group by number of conversations and so okay this is overall okay mm -hmm. so essentially there has there we have three thousand seven so it's basically very skewed right <laughs> essentially mm -hmm. one person is only contacting one person on each day okay and then the question says hey filter on year 2020 so let's query uh filter on the base table so we just I'm not sure if there is a year function there or not. Let's let's recap once. Write a query to get the distribution of the number of conversations created by each user per day in the year 2020. Okay. So year 2020 filter we put in here. And then we said we we literally just converted this into table, right? Yeah. So we said number of conversations per day per user and then we went to the first part which is how to get the distribution just like count it so basically <laughs> basically read the question in the reverse order what do you think yeah i think that's right so i guess one thing that i want to ask you is um uh is there a reason or let's say if i if i didn't know any better like why wouldn't we group on the first user and the second user and then look at the date uh and then the count what would that give us? Is that wrong? Is that right? So you're saying uh, basically first measure for user one, then measure for user two, and then yeah. union them together. Yeah, the, um, really depends on the granularity of the table. You can uh, assume, not, means you need to have clarification on the data set, right? If you are data is, if you are storing the data twice, where user one and user two Say you have 20 conversations and then user to user one has 20 conversations. So if you union them, you'll get 40. So mm. th that's why, uh, given that there's an ID column involved, I am assuming that's already handled. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. So you, you need, need to be aware whether you are double counting or not. If you want, gotcha. I can write an example of what I just said. Yeah, so just to recap really quickly, so the assumption that you're stating is that we're singly counting these, so we're, we have some rule where it's like, if the user starts a conversation first, then their user one. Correct. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Thanks, Shitesh.